Hey guys, today working on the power wagon. I'm doing some carburetor work and stuff. Um, so the carburetor we had, it's right here. Um, I took the top off. Um, and the plunger, the accelerator plunger thing in here to spit fuel through in, the, in here. Um, the spring wasn't even, like, when you push the throttle down, it wasn't even touching the spring. It was so worn out. So, um, this one wasn't even spitting any fuel. I mean, it'd push fuel out just to keep it idling, but it wouldn't accelerate. It wasn't getting enough fuel for it. So, um, what I got here is I put this carburetor on it. Hold on, I'm setting this down. Here, I'll put it back where it was. All right, got gas everywhere. But I already got most of it hooked up. I got the fuel line hooked up. It's all tightened down. The one issue we got is these linkages right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some custom fabricating. If it'll adjust there. We're going to do some custom fabricating. Cut these two and then weld them both together so that we can hit the throttle to the floor. But one thing I noticed with the other carburetor, this hooks straight up to the linkage. So you only push the pedal that far in on the floor. And it's wide open if you push it that far. So, now we're going to have a little bit more wiggle room. That just come off. That's fine. I need that off anyway. i got to take this bolt out here. And then take this out. And I'll take it in the garage and cut it. And then weld it on. So, alright. I'm going to take that into the garage. And I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to cut it and weld it quick. Alright, see you guys in just a second. Clean it up a little bit and we'll get the other one on there. Okay. Yeah. All right, next. Oh yeah, if you want to clean it up just a little bit, go ahead. I ain't touching it now. Mm. It's way too hot, and that's way too short. It's going to burn my finger. I don't have gloves. Well, right. right here. Okay. There's like four pair in there, so I don't know which one's which. I'm going to be grabbing it with this one anyway. So. Alright. Wrong hand. I just hit the back of my hand. So yeah, but you wouldn't have if you had didn't have gloves on. All right, that's done. Now we just got to weld them. Put them together. So we'll do that right now. Okay. All right, so should be pretty close. Right there. You can tack it. 
don't burn me. Do it again. Ah. Now hold on. That's still pretty That's straight. Good. You want to tack it on the back side quick? Can't see that. Do it straight, yeah. Still pretty straight. Yeah, it's pretty hot already. Well, yeah. Okay, so we will tack that up a little bit better. That looks actually pretty good. So, all right. So you weld that together, and we'll get back at it after we cool it off. Pretty fun, ain't it? You yeah. still there? <laughs> still there. All right, we'll get at her. So here's the finished product. Jesus. Not product. Product, not project. That's basically. It looks alright. And I think. Should be right. It's straight. It's at a 45, like we needed it. it. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't at a complete 45, this turns in here, so. Uh, it's not that focusing. Oh, uh, no. Oh, there it is. So it's not terrible. We'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't break halfway down the road and wide open it goes. Well, that thing's not breaking. Not the no. way you just welded it. Yes. That was hot, hot. So but yeah, I'll go put it on and put that new pin in and maybe we can get it fired up in this one. Yeah, see what the new carburetor does. So, well, it's going to be better than the old one, I guarantee it. So let's, let's fire it up and see what she does. Alrighty, so I got this carburetor in there and hooked up. Everything's hooked up. Um, we wanted to roll it over to see if anything, like see if it worked and everything. Spray's good, but it wasn't shutting off fuel, so it just spit up in the carburetor everywhere all over the engine. So, and then I didn't realize this. I took this off the old carburetor. This one is not long enough. This so it wasn't shutting off fuel, so it was just spitting out the top. So I didn't realize we have another carburetor. Same exact one as that one, just a little bit dirtier. Um, but here's what was in there. So there's quite a bit difference there. So um, I'll put this one in. Uh, yeah, I'll put this one in. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But yeah. Some biscuit. Mm. Got like five wrenches here, Jesus. Four. All right, well, I'm going to get this on quick, and then I'll catch you guys after. All right, so I got them both hooked up. I got this hooked up in the fuel line, and this looks right. Uh, I don't, you guys can't see it, but it pushes a needle back into the tube, so it quits fuel full, but now that that different fuel, sub, fuel inlet is in, it'll shut the gas off from filling over like it was a little bit ago. So I'm going to put the carburetor back together, put the top on, 
and then I'm gonna see if it's still leaking. If it still is, we're gonna buy, order a 50 Dodge Coronet brand new carburetor, because I'm sick of dealing with it. So, alrighty, I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. All right, I'm gonna do that quick. Alrighty, so about 31 seconds later, I got the whole carburetor put back together. Um, everything seems to be working fine. I'm gonna see if it's gonna keep overflowing or not, or if it's actually gonna shut it off when it's supposed to. So I'm gonna check that, and then I'll get back to you after. But, all right, I'm gonna check this. New carburetor, it's actually getting the fuel it needs, and it's actually hiding really good. No choke. Just, and we didn't have to prime it this time. No. She's actually flooded for a little bit. You can actually rev it up now. Cool. Listen to that. Ugh. Get hit in the face of water, but. That felt good. Yeah, do it again. Just don't let her. Uh... Oh. Good. I call that a win already. Think I can put her in first gear and take her over there? And we let it warm up a little. It oh, just yeah. started. I know. Here, you hold Less that. than 30 seconds. If you hold it. Third. No. Just. Ah. Let me do my thing. Yeah, you clean up. How about that? <laughs> it sounds too good now. That's freaking awesome. Holy crap. That's awesome. It's. There's no misses, no I nothing. Know. No. It's so. Uh, oh. It's actually getting the fuel it needed. What did you show them in that last, the last section? Ah, uh, putting the carburetor together. I was going to see if it was leaking. Oh, so, after, when doing the needle? Yeah, yeah. After I finally got it back together. Wow. Here, I'm going to see if the foot pedal works. Want me to try it again? Sorry, I'm bending down looking at it. I know, it's pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna... Perfect! Perfect! You can do it with the floor. Yeah, I know. I gotta get a pull from here. How about this? How about this? fish going but fish Wednesday I guess right wow this is no it's Thursday it's Wednesday we're posting on Thursday yeah it's Wednesday we're posting on Thursday so alright well I'm gonna drive this up and down carefully when you stop the video you can do a short one for Facebook okay are we going to drive it? That'll be it. You really want to move it? Yeah, I do. Up there. Yeah, until the gears don't work. Better know now before Iola. So 
down there at 135 I know. Well, you need to put antifreeze in. Yeah, so don't forget the four winner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that valve needs to be tightened up the way back, too. We tried taking them out, and I thought I got them in back in place, but might not. It's going to be a pain in the butt to get in there to do it, but we'll get it done. It's going to be a pain trying to tighten that lifter. It's all the way under the exhaust, and... It's harder because that shield's in the way. It's going to be... Yeah, we'll figure it out. But it's going to be a pain in the butt. But all right, I'll catch you guys in just a second. We're going to finalize some things, and then I'll get you guys in just a minute. All righty. So we thought or we had an issue. We thought there was a little spark, um, and then realized this thing wasn't pushing any fuel. It was just pushing air. So we're like, what the heck's going on? So we took this line off. And we started rolling it over. It wasn't spitting any fuel. So I was like, oh, crap. Fuel pump's bad. Nope. Um, so we checked the gas can that it's running into down there. And I forgot it had a screen in it. So it was... make or The tube couldn't go any further in there. And the gas was already too far down. It was like that far. It was just... It wasn't touching the fuel. So it wasn't sucking any fuel up. So now we got to get it running fuel through with the whole line again. And then... So at least we figured out our problem. So now we can. But yeah, stupidest little things. We thought we lost spark, and then we're looking all over for that, and yeah, well, that's cross threading. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you go for a second. Alrighty, so got that on. It's all tightened up now. We're gonna try starting it and taking it up there back where it was so we can do the top and stuff and weld the holes that are on top of the truck as i mentioned earlier i think so yeah it's gonna take a minute to get fuel rolling back but Balloop. Okay, come on, we got that. There we go. And we also got her hang out by some zip ties. She'll work. Alright, you want me to do that quick? Uh, you think it's gonna run good enough? No kidding, moving on its own. This is freaking awesome. God, hold it. Where's re find re is reverse over and down? Go back, go back. Now come forward again. Yeah. Put it in neutral. Let me hear it. Battery's even powered. Yeah, battery's dying. That wow. is awesome. It dies. Holy <laughs> You had that transmission completely apart and put it back together just perfect. Yeah. So, just that it moved, that's awesome. All right, want to drive it down the road? <laughs> no. No. Now we're going to have to adjust that carburetor too, though. We're getting some...
puffs of smoke out of the stacks. Too much or I think it's probably it might might be flooding a little bit. So we might have to do some tuning on the Oh, well, yeah, I drove. I can't believe it. I know. Wow. So, well, that's the fifth, first time ever. In well, that's the first time driven in forty-six 40, years. Yeah, forty-five years. Under its own power. Wow. Drove itself. That's it's running good. Figure out that throttle, though. I wish you had well, made yeah. it a little bit longer. I wish we could have made it. Oh, we could adjust this out a little bit. For what? Because you push it in a little bit and it's high RPMs. Yeah. That's the you, oh. that's just what you're hearing in the exhaust. You just you you're not used to feathering the exhaust with a manual. No, I've no, this one's hard you'll know when you try feathering it. Oh I'll it's just get, like the fifty nine, it's a pain in the butt. I'll get it. Yeah, well, it drove on its own. For the first time in forty Five or six years. I'll have mom take me around the block in it. I'll be driving. But... <laughs> Just She'll take it. It's not the first time you've taken a vehicle around the block. Yeah, but not something like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I don't got brakes. Well, I didn't even try the brakes. You don't need brakes. You got first gear. This thing's got such low first gear. It's crazy. It's like yeah, three it was, miles like, an hour. Moving, I was like, no, I didn't even let the clutch out fully yet. I was just riding the clutch until it come up here. <laughs> Did it spin any tires? No. Darn it. No, especially well, I, not if you're riding the clutch. I let the clutch out in reverse, that's what I thought. And it jumped over there. <clears throat> it runs good. Did you, ex well, you already explained what we were bringing it by the garage again for. Yep. Just the stars fix the, the skylights in the roof. Yep. We'll get them fixed tomorrow. Well, Friday. Friday. Friday and this weekend. Pizza. We got all weekend. Yeah, Friday night pizza night. We could fix the roof. Yeah, we got all weekend to finish up the truck and take her down the road. <sighs> this is cool. Well, and I don't know. It's pretty awesome. Got yeah, it running yeah. again. You fixed all the ignition stuff. Changed the carburetor. Changed the fuel line. Tore the carburetor apart. Put it back together. <laughs> Put it back together. Tore the first one apart, put it back together, then tore another one apart, yeah. and then this one. So, I mean, back together. you did a good job. And and she's running good. You want to try to fire it up again, see if it starts right well, away? Well, I don't know if the battery's going to work or not. Well, well, you could try. It might start up right away. I don't know. <laughs> one more time. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. <laughs> I shut it off. I didn't. No, I know. I heard you. It, it didn't die on its own. You didn't click it back. Huh? You didn't click it. Too far back, right? The ignition? No. I don't want that coil running all night. Yeah, that's why I took the key out. I'm on the key. Alright. I'll figure it out for mom when Get it. tomorrow morning. Get in here. Look at that. Get in here and finish up your video. And now yeah. that it's 10 o'clock at night, we can make supper and start getting ready for that. Yeah. Well, it's 9.15. But it's 9.15. Yeah, this thing sounds like Jeepers Creepers truck driving down the road. I kind of want. It well, kind of reminds me of that now. Well, I mean, it sounds really, really good now. Is this light on outside? Yes. I'm gonna shut this off. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I don't like this zoom, but I can't zoom out anymore. So you guys will have to deal with it. <laughs> I got my. I found my radiator cap on the ground. I put my bike back over on the side of the garage, and I found it on the side of the garage. We were looking there for all year for it. This little devil. 
that's right here. I painted it. I need to sand it down again and paint it again, but as you can see, I mean, it's not bad, but I'd rather it be perfect than lost for three years. Yeah, lost since we brought the truck home. Three years? Yeah. You could sit up there for tonight. Oh, uh, that looks weird. <laughs> but, all right. We're going to get turning signal lights. I'm going to look for them when I go inside, wait for Dad to cook my supper. I'm just kidding. I'll help him. Um, but, yeah, I'll look for them two signals. We got be headlight bezels coming in so we can get them two before the show. And then maybe some reflector lights in the back. And then, yep. Should be good. The Blinko lenses. Yeah, that's what I said. The just well, the yeah, we're not yeah, we're not we're not replacing this. We're just getting lenses, and then we got bezels coming. They're chrome. I don't know how that's gonna look on it, but it'll be fine. I think it'll look fine because it's got the Power Wagon chrome up there, and the Dodge right here on both sides, and the top lights. It should be fine. Should match all together, but. Alrighty, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go in and eat. And then there will be videos of this later on. But I did hear a little bit of squealing when I put it in gear. I don't know if that's normal for this. I don't know. It's the first time. So we'll see. But we got to get this thing street legal and on the road so we can take Grandpa for a ride in it. So it's my goal. In the wow. next few uh, months. It doesn't have to be street. So take it off the rock. Oh, yeah. True. But still. We can take it off-roading out at that uh, sand hill that we took the Duramax on. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Just haul this out there and we well, might actually be able to drive it. You never know. I might take that plug out here and run that... Um, heater gate or the temperature gate inside and put it in that little holder yeah go ahead i'll do that tomorrow morning when it cools down because it's water and it's probably boiling in there you know Cause it... all right yeah i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna go help dad cook lillian's already bothering us i just heard the door fly open so yeah all righty I'll let you guys go. We gotta put all our tools away. And... Yeah, yeah, we left them over there where the truck used to be. So. Alrighty, I'll let you go, and I'll see you guys in the next one.